Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. So, yeah, now. Oh, yeah, what time am I gonna drift? Let's see the thumbnail before I forget. Ready? Uh, I wish I could put up my hands. Oh, 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 oh. What is going on guys? It is beautiful cold out. I don't know what car I'm gonna work on this Sunday. It's happening, it's going down. We're picking up the manual swap. I think most likely we'll get it for the S13. I'm still in the air which car I wanna drift next season. Or I'm gonna drift them both, but I don't know. You can't see me, hold on. All right. So I'm not sure what car I'm gonna drift next season, and I really, really, really want to do. I really. I, okay, so next season I want to take the S13 and don't modify anything. Maybe get a little just coilovers, weld the diff, maybe five lug swap just because of my t wheel selection. Um, and do a series next year inspired by my homie Joe. This is kind of like uh, we always conversate on um, overbuilding and underdevelopment. So I kind of want to not, not I will take my S14 out a cup for a couple events, but I mainly want to focus on drifting the S13 stock KA and do a tutorial, a full season, a full beginning to end breakdown on how to drift on or with a stock KA. Everything I learned, every, all my challenges, and you guys go the journey with me. You'd rather see, like for drift events, I'm still gonna build this, but I'm gonna drive that. But I'm also gonna drive that sometimes. It just depends on the event. So, post in the comments below what you think, um, your thoughts, your ideas. Do you think that's a good idea? Do you like that idea? Do you feel that's, that's relatable because um, I know f in my shoes I don't have a huge budget and I can't go put uh, monsters together and draft them around and get them done. So I want to, if I can't, it's kind of uh, one of those sayings that you might not have the money to do the activity but you have the, the time to listen because it's like a money versus time thing. So I have the time and, and willpower to have my car stock and try to learn to drive like a crazy man rather than build a monster and drive like crazy man. Pretty much the same thing, just two different sides of the spectrum. S13 is going to be swapped very soon. Sunday, me and Caesar are going to pick it up, hopefully. And the following weekend is our Christmas party, and then the following weekend, I believe we're doing the swap. So that should be done in two, three weeks, hopefully. Jesus, hashtag bless. They ain't ready for me. Ah. Work on this and start to get that ready. But there's not much I can do. I wanted to paint the rear, but I got to flip it around. And then this, I'm waiting on parts, but I could mock up the shield or the bracket I have. But then again, it'd be kind of pointless to mock up because I don't have the part that I need. It's coming tomorrow, so it'd be in tomorrow's video. But I can also get a head start on tomorrow's video. Bruh. Yeah, now. Oh, yeah. What side am I going to drift? Yeah. I can always mock up and drill. I'm in the mood to work on this car though. I got to say, cause I, I miss, uh, haven't worked on a car in a couple days and I usually get a little, a little testy if I don't. This is going here. I gotta figure out how I wanna make it fit. You know it was a, w a weird thing lately and I don't know, I mean, I've always liked them. I've been really feeling like some type of Honda build lately. Don't get me wrong, I have no idea why. I just, uh, just lately I've just been really, really, really in the mood to play with a Honda. I think because I dailyed so many Hondas and I'm really, really, I really want to do a daily a cool car. Not a cool car, but a fun car I can whip around the back roads. So that's kind of like my struggle lately. I'm kind of getting bored of the Pathfinder and my daily commute. So, um,. Kind of what I'm going through. I need something to this with. With this little shape, it's it's technically 
a divider for a bookshelf, but with this shape, I'm gonna run the wires through here and put them right here. This should be dope. Right here. Cool, let's go make our cuts. A lot easier to make videos when you have no interior and it creates like so much room for when you wanna work. That's ironic. I don't have my batteries. Long story, but all my tools are in my car. Yesterday was kind of a mess of a video because, uh, excuse, 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 but um, I was working on Black Friday sales almost all day long, and I was trying to get everything prepared and out for today. But that's all excuses. I almost I went to the junkyard for my buddy, but it ended up not I ended up not having to, or he didn't have it didn't have the right parts. Can you see me? Oh, you can't see me at all. All right, fancy montage. Right, this is the final, not the final, but I have to get the switch in. So everything's uh, re-ran, wired, cleaned up. So all these wires go to my fuel ignition controller. So you have um, a vacuum line or boost line and what controls it from the ECU. So that's gonna go into my glove compartment. And then you have my relay I put the panel on and then I put the relay onto the panel and then I'm gonna put the fuse box over here. Um, this is ground and power. This is constant power. I'm probably gonna run the constant power to the, the switch or the um, fuse box. And then from there run cleaner wires because we have these two wires and then another two for my wipers. Which isn't that bad but I just wanna have the opportunity to clean it up as I get more switches in here. So bypass this this uh, inline fuse because it'll be fused from the fuse box. So, but so far so good. Everything works out good. Hopefully my dash, the only thing that could be a potential issue is my dash not fitting, but hopefully it does. Hopefully we have no problems, but so far so good. Cleaned her up. She's good. I'm pretty pumped up. And uh, yeah, little by little, it's kind of a, you know, work in progress. It's getting late already, so I, I was I started. I, I didn't know how much I should have filmed while I was wiring everything. I guess I probably should have uh, gone step by step, but I was just figuring it out myself and how I want to do it. And it's not completely done, so I'm kind of waiting on um, the switch tomorrow, and I'll mount the switch up and get everything situated. But I got rid of a lot of wire. There was a speaker wire I got rid of all this jazz so it's always good removing old wire that you really don't need it's almost nine o'clock already so i think we made a good amount of progress though i'm pretty happy and uh on to the next one so i'm pretty pretty pumped up i'm just gonna leave my tools in there and uh yeah dog 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 it was a pretty good day good day good day i am ready for editing and all that good stuff so i appreciate it guys thank you so much to whoever supported us through the past week or so everyone that placed their orders in um 
I do appreciate it. it means absolutely the world to me when those who support me it's 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 crazy my my one buddy Francis was over here picking up some shirts and hats and backpacks and he bought a dream of build it bundle which I'm uh I'm pretty pumped up. We have one more left. I might leave it an extra day, um, or at least till like the morning, or maybe a couple hours. Whoever wants to pick up the last Dream of Build a Bundle. Um, so yeah, just giving you guys one last chance. Um, and use the code BDFAM, you get 10% off. You guys should know that. Um, all you guys, there's a special code for you guys, just BDFAM, 10% um, off everything, always, no matter what. So I appreciate it guys. Holla holla at your boy guys. We're gonna get it. Yeah, this weekend's pretty cool We got some things going on and uh, it's a good week. It's gonna be a good week I hope you guys are having a good week and uh, we're gonna get it. We're gonna get it. We're gonna get it. Happy freaking Tuesday guys We love you. Holla at your boy son What's the percentage that I forgot something in there? Oh, I'm not gonna forget to put the trash down. See Ryan? Every once in a while you can be not so forgetful. All right, guys, we love you. Thank you so much. Holla at your boy. Get at me. You feel me on the DMs. Happy Tuesday. Bye. And nothing's ever made me cry as much as you, I swear. Your smile gives me motivation and some new ideas. My worst fear was always you not knowing who I am. Cause I've been on the road dream chasing for you out here. I was the first thing that you opened your eyes to And the last one that you said goodnight to I went home and cried to And I bawled my eyes out and then watched you Glad I got you, that's a blatant fact And every negative thing I said, I swear I'll take it back